Can you hear me now? Not sure what uh, what's happening. I was doing a calls the whole day. Um, should be working. Please let me know if if you can hear me now. Right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Great. Not sure what was wrong. I was having uh, meetings the whole day. So I'm going to do the demo one more time. Welcome, guys. I'm going to be answering your questions. In case you have any kind of questions, please let me know. Um, this is the this is a great way to actually get people uh, people commenting at the same time. So um, if you're looking for engagement, then act like your mic is muted, or if you if there are some tech difficulties, <laughs> it was not meant on purpose. But thanks, guys, for letting me know. Um, we're going to be answering your answering your questions. In case you have something, please put a queue in front of the questions. A lot of times, people are answering each other's questions in the comments. Uh, there is sometimes chit chat, and and the comments that I see is just irrelevant for myself. So please, in case you would like to ask me a question, make sure you include a little Q letter Q in front of the questions. So I can see a lot of people are joining in. I'm going to just dive straight into the question. So what we usually do is we actually go in and and answer the questions from the from the live stream over here. Whenever we go live, there is a, a post show shows up in the Facebook community and then um, we go and answer those first. So Anthony Martyr is asking a question. I can't work out how to use this, uh, the sections on the left of this header. The ones on the left work as normal. Um, when click on the configure section, they only show up the options that appear in the right of the screenshot. OK, so let's just have a look together. So what Anthony is having difficulties is with the actual navigation menu that has um, two nav bars, like this is the first nav bar and this is the second nav bar. So we're going to look into it together. We're going to log into Groove, go to Groove Pages because that is the app that um, that these kinds of navigation bars are appearing and we're going to just look into it. Cool, 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 perfect. <clears throat> We have a lot of great um, updates coming on. I'm just recording the videos for you guys. We'll be posting them today. There is an update video for Groove video for Groove blog. Uh, there will be one short update on uh, Groove mail, SMTPs for tracking. There is also um, a video getting prepared for not not today, but this week I'm going to be doing one for Groove Pages and hopefully Groove Cart as well. So a lot of interesting updates for you guys this week. Um, okay, so let's just look into the to the question that uh, was asked. We are going to put in a navigation bar with that looks like this with. Uh, nav bar, logo nav bar. So this is what we are seeing here on the screen. So the right hand side navigation bar auto populates. So this is a nav menu that auto populates over here. And we can choose external links or we can choose pages to exclude. So I'm going to exclude 456 and then is going to leave the home page, thank you page, and, and the page seven, I believe. So there will be three pages there on the screen. Yeah, there we go. So home, thank you, page seven. So how to modify this uh, this page? So what you could do with these is to actually use external links over here. Um, most of the times when the when the navigation bars are, are set up like this, you could manage, uh, you could duplicate this one. Let's just see, actually, like that. So you, you take this, you duplicate this, and then you can move it over if you would prefer to have the same page menu on here. Like that. So then you have both of them if you if you prefer. Then if you don't want to, you can you can just manage the external links on the first option over here. So the first link and the things like that, these are going to be external links like this. 
Okay, and now you see it actually showed up. So it 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 just requires a little update. So here at the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's behind this little banner. Or you just need to click the update. So let's just try that one. I actually didn't try that. So if we click over here, configure and and without any kind of setup, we just click the update button. It should pull in all the pages as well. Yeah, there we go. So it just needs a little nudge. There we go. So now we can have the same setup over here as well. So hopefully that helps. Um, it was just a very quick, uh, quick way we explored together on how to use it. I, to be honest, I never use these types of things because it may look good on on desktop, but people are just not used to it on on uh, smaller screens. Um, it's just not something that that I use myself. So as you can see, it is just one menu on the mobile screens. So, um, but yeah, it looks good on, on uh, large devices. If you prefer, you may, uh, you may want to create uh, a separate navigation menu with this layout for large screens and for smaller screens like tablets and mobile phone, you may want to just change it to a different, uh, different option if you prefer. Um, okay, let's move on to the next question from Lee Nolan Lun. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. Uh, I added my email to GrooveMail via SendGrid following your great step-by-step -step video, but as soon as I finished and everything looked approved, my email started bouncing. Okay, I can email from the address still, but I cannot receive any emails to that address, which is why I haven't got a verification email. The email address was hosted by GoDaddy, who said it's a DNS problem, which they can't fix because it's no longer on their servers. I have no idea where to start looking for the problem, but I really, really need that email to work again. It's my business email clients use for booking coaching sessions, and I really need it to connect to GrooveMail. Groove support hasn't got back uh, to me yet. Um, I don't know where you're hosting your email. This is an email was hosted by GoDaddy. Okay, so it's a GoDaddy email. Um, I don't really know what could be the issue. If this is a DNS, then you will just need to go back and follow all of the DNS settings. So there should be MX records in the DNS settings, but please record a full on video of your setup and please provide that to our support. I, I believe you mentioned group support hasn't gotten me back uh, about it other than check my spam folder and try resending. Um, so maybe they just didn't get enough information that uh, from you. I don't know what how you reached out to them, but please, if you could just record your screen, just show how you set it up, maybe even, um, even provide your login details to your Groove account so that the support can go into the actual domain settings and have a look in, in the DNS uh, how it is actually set up because we would need to, to look into those uh, to actually figure out what could be the issue. Um, so if you haven't done that, I would appreciate if you could do that. Okay, um, moving on. Can you show us the step-by-step -step to, uh, to add our Groove blog to the root of our main.com absolutely i actually recorded a video on that one is going to be made live after i i wrap up this live stream um uh, we did a, a new thing for groove blog which will allow you to not only have a domain and uh forward slash forward slash blog so domain.com forward slash blog but it will also allow you to have domain.com forward slash blog forward slash post name the current setup that, that you guys would have uh, originally is um, is forward slash blog, forward slash post, forward slash post name. Okay, so it's just a bit too many forward slashes. So today we actually released um, the custom URL structure. I'm putting a video on um, inside the Facebook group very soon about that and on YouTube channel where I explain what these do and how to manage it. But the question was about the uh, steps to get a Groove block to a root domain. So what you need to do is make sure that you have your domain connected to um, connected to Groove, and the primary option, the primary nav, uh, the primary app needs to be Groove Pages, which means that your domain.com is going to be. Uh, going to be a funnel on group pages or a website in group pages. Once you've done that, uh, once you have your domain over here connected to group pages, 
then you can go over here in Groove Blog and you click on to this publish to a folder. Okay, so it's going to be domain.com forward slash blog. Then you can actually choose the domain that is connected to Groove Pages. In my case, it's Groove Assist. And it's going to ask you the location. So the location is going to be the root domain. The root domain is going to be grooveassist.com in my case. In your case, it's going to be yourdomain.com. And then here, you actually manage the forward slash what. So the final domain is going to be mydomain.com forward slash blog. If you don't want blog, if you want podcast, you can do that as well. If you want recipes, say you have a recipe site, then you create uh, your recipes blog, then you do that. If you want something else, basically you put it there, but normally it will be a blog. Okay. So you click save, and now that's basically it. It's super simple. You just need to make sure that your domain, your domain.com is connected to Groove Pages as a primary app, and then you go into Groove Blog and set up a root domain and the full learning. That's basically it. So now when you go into publish and you click this visit the blog once the loading stops, then you're going to see that we have domain.com forward slash blog. You don't need to worry about this version 300. It's just that um, it allows you to track whenever you publish a blog. Um, it's going to tell you that the version is a newer version. So if I visit the blog now, it is version 300, which is not available anymore. So I'm going to visit the blog one more time. Okay, yeah, so it needs to, it needs to refresh. And basically this V equals a number is going to be growing and growing and growing. It's every version should have its own number. Oh, that's it. Okay, so. Pietro has a question over here. Hi, David. I was hoping for some much needed help. I have created a full sales funnel roof pages after watching your YouTube video, okay, which includes an opt in page, upsell page, and relevant thank you pages. As I'm selling a physical product through AliExpress, I have created a one page groove card site for, uh, for which the orders can be directed and automated. Okay, um, so you are selling AliExpress products and you created a Groove Pages funnel, okay? Um, I have created a one-page Groove card site for which the orders can be directed and automated. Moving forward, I have watched the Groove Pages Groove card video but struggling to understand the following. Will the funnel built in Groove Pages work correctly when linked to Groove card? And how and where does the checkout process take place and how is it linked to work correctly. So Pietro, you're, you're using two platforms, but you should really just use GrooveCart. GrooveCart has its own page builder and you can do uh, you can do these signups and all kinds of different things inside GrooveCart itself. You don't need Groove Pages. Of course, Groove Pages is a little bit more connected at this moment to our other apps like Groove Mail and Groove Video. We have a Groove Mail element, we have a Groove Video element in Groove Pages, but all of that you can also embed to your Groove Cart site as well. So, what my suggestion would be is to actually have um, just a Groove Cart site because there you have the inventory, you have the fulfillment, you have the checkouts, you have everything, and you can also do upsells, downsells, order bumps, and things like that to Groove Cart. So, my my suggestion would be to just go full on GrooveCart. Then this connection between the apps won't be necessary. I understand that you may want to do a little bit more custom uh, things, but I would I would suggest you just start uh, with GrooveCart, like build out your one page site. Um, if you if you want, I don't know if you've seen, but I have a one product. If you type in one product in our uh, Groove CM YouTube channel. I have a creating a high performing one product store using Groove Cart. I actually do uh, did a full on course with this one where I go uh, step by step, uh, step by step explaining how I create a one product store. I'm going to show you very quickly. Um, it's going to be this one. Um, which is which is really really good. I, I recreated an, a live 
store um, through GrooveCart and explained everything, how it looks like. I even drew it out. So you may want to follow this uh, this setup. Over here, I, I explained the design. I connected GrooveCart to AliExpress and basically imported the product. I modified the product and I pretty much did whatever you're trying to do. Um, of course, there are some steps that I didn't go through, like setting up your payment date, uh, payment gateways and things like that. But I believe this this video, this tutorial would would help you understand everything that that you're trying to do. So one product store selling in a type of funnel type of way, um, like high converting sales copy and things like that, uh, you may want to look into this. So the creating a high performing one product store using GrooveCart is what I would suggest you to visit. Um, and then you don't need to connect the two apps together. You don't, you just do everything in GrooveCart. Um, Yari is asking a question. I'm having problems saving groove pages when starting a totally new site from scratch. There can uh, there can be save button inactive for some editing, or even if it's active and clicked, there is no text content saved. Uh, yes, Yari, we are we are looking into this one. This is something that uh, started happening uh, very recently because of this uh, groove cart domain uh, groove blog domain setup. We're actually looking into it right now. I have the devs working on it, so it should be fixed pretty pretty fast. At this moment, I I don't have a workaround for that one. For some users on some new sites, um, the saving is not going to show that it's saved. So uh, let's just do a quick test. If I just do this. I'm, I'm a bit too fast. Okay, let's wait until it loads. Here we go. Alert bars. Let's just drag this out. Okay, let's click the save button. Saving. And, and that's the issue. Sometimes in certain cases, it just stays as saving and it doesn't show the actual box uh, behind my chair here. So, um, we are aware of the situation and we are actually looking into it right now. Okay, so moving on. How do you turn off email notifications when someone gets added to forms? Uh, there is no way to to turn them off at this moment. So Pat Lorna Shanks is asking how to actually um, cancel out those email notifications. For the moment, there is no way to turn it off. It's automatically built in, but we are doing another level where we are going to be building in the, uh, the I don't know how we call them. I, I said last time I'm going to look into it. We're going to have a new menu in Groove Mail, which is going to allow people to add on their trusted trusted receivers, trusted sender. I don't know how we are calling them, but it will be something like a sender where you actually add on people who you would like to forward form responses to. So it's going to be like verified, part, verified participants, verified something. So we'll, we'll have a menu where you add on a person and that person needs to verify that I want to receive the form responses. And... Um, then it's going to be sending out to those only. So for the moment, uh, for the moment, that's the that's the setup, and at, it, at this moment, it's not possible to turn it off. Uh, Groove Forms have success page URL, and Groove Mail Form in the page builder has a linked page. Which one wins? Uh, it's always the Groove uh, Pages one is the override. So in case you have video settings. Um, one is set up in Groove Video and the other one is in Groove Pages. Always the Groove Pages is going to be the override. It's not going to over override the previous settings and it's not going to change the previous settings, but it's going to just create a kind of a new version for your mail, mail, uh, Groove Mail form and also for your videos, for the rest of the things that we are going to be adding on. So this one from Groove Pages is going to win. So whenever you set up the thank you redirect link over here, this is going to be winning. So this one is, is 
uh, useful when you are embedding your form somewhere or some something like that but inside groove pages you have kind of a way to manage that separately as well um, David Thayer has a question groove card category product pages uh, broken image icons no uh, no pictures uh, chances are my developer missed something simple hoping you can help see you at noon uh, yes so whenever you have broken images in groove card there is a very simple button that you can press and that's just a regenerate images um, I'm going to show you very quickly over here So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So if you come over here to more links at the bottom, let me just disable the banner. Okay, so here, these three dots, okay, more links. In GrooveCart, you have a regenerate images. So this may be something that uh, some people missed, but you can click regenerate images and it's going to be actually reloading the images. If you upload it out, uploaded, um, good images that were not broken but just recently broke then you can actually regenerate images regenerate the thumbnails so it will take a little bit of time it will take uh, it will take some time depending on how many products you have how many categories how many um, basically how many images you have inside your dashboard um, it's going to go through let me just show you here. It's going to go through the categories, products, and it's going to be um, regenerating all the images. After this one over here, you should have um, the images show properly. So this could be the missing link for you. If, you. if you didn't know about that, just click over here to these three dots at the bottom of the uh, groove cart dashboard, and then you can choose regenerate images. Um, okay, so I believe we answered all of the questions here from Facebook. Let's just jump over to the questions from the live stream. I'm going to look into some of your questions uh, here. And the first question I have is from Tropical Cabbage. I've selected a template with three column layout just below the fold. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like each of the columns to have a button at top. Uh, that links to an external website. How to replace icon with button? It's actually pretty simple. Um, let me just do that over here. Okay, so template with a three column layout just below the fold. Okay, let's just find something that looks like that. I'm going to choose a block. Actually, no, these are the resources, I believe, that have these types of things. So something like this or something like, like this is the same thing. There we go. So it's kind of a, a resources section, something like this, like three columns. And there's an icon and some more text. That's what I'm guessing uh, Tropical Cabbage is talking about. I'd like each column to have a button at the top that links to an external website. How do I replace icon with a button? So that's very simple. We have a drag and drop software. So you could just come over here and uh, drag out a button, which is over here, just above or below the icon. Let's just leave it above. And you can design it as you want. So we could do uh, click here. You could use icons over here. You can link it to something and you can click update. Once you did that, you can go and design the button a little bit. I'm going to make it big and ugly. Uh, okay, so I just selected the main label. Okay, let's do this. And let's just make the text a little bit bigger. Let's just do a little bit of padding, top and bottom like this. Ooh, that went a little bit too far. <laughs> okay, let's get this over here. Okay, I'm going to actually do a bit bigger buttons like that. Something like this. Okay, so I have now a button that is pink 
and it's on top of this icon as you can see I can just click on the icon and just delete it now so I have a button I could also move it down and add a little bit of of margin or sorry the yeah, margin over here it looks like this now so I could easily duplicate this button and then drag it over here or maybe instead of the icon so you just create a button and then you place it wherever you'd like and I could do this and then from here remove these margins and put them maybe below like that and over here remove these margins again and there we go so we have created um, these three column layout and just remove the icon the, the same thing happens with these you could also use an image as a button if or an icon as a button uh, just link it to something uh, if you want to have a call to action like click here or something like that then you just uh, you, you just drag a button element over where you want it and then modify it further hopefully that helps okay so in groove cart our images were regenerated i'm going to close it uh, another question from tropical cabbage i have text hyperlink to an external site is there a way to make it open in the new window a very good question and i'm happy to answer that there is um the what you're seeing right now is is still going to be changed a little bit but we have added external hyperlinks so we have now if you select a uh, select some text you can do internal or external i have asked personally the the devs to change this to to something more under more understandable because internal and external it could mean external is kind of an outside site, a site that is on a, on a different URL, and internal could mean like pages on one site, but it's actually not. It's uh, open in a new tab or no. So that's, that's the way you do it. So external is going to be at this moment if you're doing it. External is opening in a new tab. Internal is opening it in the same tab. What we're going to do is we're going to do this menu. When you are linking something to a, to a page, you have this open a new tab option. And this same exact layout is what is going to be... Um, I cannot see my mouse. Basically, this this layout is going to be in the um, in the in the hyperlink. So hopefully that that is making that will make things easier to understand. Um, but at this moment, internal is if you want it on the on the same page. Externally, if you want it in a new tab. Uh, but yeah. That's that was just added yesterday, so we I didn't announce it yet because we're still working on it. I did I I wanted some some changes. Next question from Tropical Cabbage. I've added a custom domain and verified my site is published to this domain as a root. Been one plus hour still getting Groove G when URL is typed in. Any hints for things I should check? Um, not quite sure. It could be again due to the saving and publishing issues that you're that you're seeing right now on the screen. We are looking into it right now, so I wouldn't be able to to tell you exactly what the issue is. But I'm guessing that is that is, that could be the the thing that that is causing the 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 site to not appear on your custom domain. Okay. Okay, so Tiris is saying, please explain partner contracts. I have invited a person, but he didn't receive anything or, or get notified. When he goes to the, on the contracts, he doesn't see anything. Um, so at this moment, I don't think that we have still the invites activated. What the partner contracts do right now is the, the two the two people have to have Groove accounts. So when you invite somebody, they need to have a Groove account and... We see that is in tools. No, this is in the product funnels partner contracts. So in the partner contracts, when you create a partner contract, the the partner needs to have a Groove account. After the after that, they should uh, see it in the partner contract distributions. Over here, you they will be 
seeing invited partner contracts over here. So my partner contracts is where uh, the, the partner contract that you created and they should click over here to invited partner contracts. This is where it should show up. So if you invited somebody that already has a Groove account that they should uh, be seeing it over here. Um, if you need any more, more clarity on it, record what you have so far, reach out to support so we can look into it for you. Okay, perfect. There's a lot of a lot of uh, new names that I'm seeing here. Welcome, guys. It's good to have you here. Uh, so Therese has another question. Furthermore, how does it work? He just see info on payments or he, do, he does get getting paid or do I choose to pay him with a button or something? Yes, so you will need to pay him. So it's um, is the the main uh, main account holder that created the partner contract will be getting the the sales but then you actually pay out your partner. It's 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 like an affiliate but not. <laughs> it's very similar but you will need to manually pay the actual partner. They will see the distributions and, and uh, how much they earn, how much they have unpaid and things like that over here uh, inside this distribution panel. Okay, there's a Facebook user saying I need help with the membership. I want to send emails to my members, custom emails when they complete their 20, 50, or is it possible through either GrooveMail or Active Campaign? So at this moment, Groove Member doesn't have a way to track that yet. We will have that with a Groove Member 2.0, version 2 that is getting ready. Uh, for the moment, there is no automation that can track, okay, John has fi finished 20% of the of the membership, so send him one email. Uh, Anna finished 70%, so send them another email. For the moment, we don't have that kind of tracking yet. Uh, we will have that soon, but at this moment, we just don't. Um, you could send out sequences for for people that reach the milestone. For example, um, you could do it a bit more manually. You'd put up a you put up a um, drip. You you allow the the actual content to be dripped, and at a certain level, they will have I don't know day seven. On the day seven, you provide a form. You provide a Groove Mail form. So you go into Groove Mail and you create a form. That is going to put uh, the people that fi that fill out that form, they will be added to a, uh, to a sequence or they will get tagged with a certain tag and things like that. So you can then send them emails. So it, there is a manual way that you could do it right now, but an automated way is not available yet. Please explain how subdomains work if an individual does not have a domain. So subdomains for all apps like Groove Cell, Groove Blog, Groove Member, um, what else? Groove Cart. You have one subdomain for each asset that you have. So on my on my screen right now, you're seeing Groove Cell. Groove Cell. I have a couple of a couple of products or a couple of product funnels that are published live on the internet. So if somebody would go and purchase the Lemonade Book funnel, uh, any products, any of the four products, this is made live. For this product funnel, I have a custom subdomain. So, sorry, not custom subdomain. I have a subdomain. So lemonadebook.groovesell.com. Okay. So every asset that I have has its own subdomain. This is the same in Groove Blog. Each one of your blogs will have its own subdomain. Something.grooveblog.com. Every GrooveCard store will have its own subdomain. Uh, Something.groovecard.com and so on, except Groove Pages. So if you are setting up a Groove Pages subdomain and you don't have a custom domain yet, you need to come over here to the, to the upper right hand side uh, avatar or an icon over here just click on it and click my account from here you can go to domains and here is the groove pages subdomain for groove pages subdomain you only have one so one for the whole account okay so what i did is my groove pages subdomain is lemon 
okay? So lemon.groovepages.com. So I can create now many, many sites. Like I can create unlimited number of sites, which will have lemon.groovepages.com, but the sites will be published to a folder. So I can create lemon.groovepages.com forward slash site one. The next site that I build, lemon.groovepages.com forward slash site two. So this is how subdomains work with Groove Pages only. We are looking into ways of getting um, getting subdomains or actually unlimited subdomains for uh, for your account. So each site could have um, a subdomain on its own, but that's just not a super high priority right now for us. We are uh, we are more inclined to do to do things that will make you more money a subdomain not a lot of users will use a subdomain if you're if you're a, an entrepreneur if you're trying to make money with with your websites you're most probably not going to use a subdomain so that's why it's not a high priority what will make you money is proper countdown timers and proper uh, settings for funnels and such um, so we have this on our to-do list to, to create a uh, like custom subdomains for your sites but uh, at this moment is just not not on the top level so hopefully that explains that uh, is it possible to hide products from GrooveCard completely and still use them as an upsell product when i use url i get a blank uh, upsell page problem with search only is that you can still search the product through the search bar not the biggest problem but not optimal if i have a product cheaper for an upsell um i understand that yeah i, I get that i think there is the there's three uh, three options one is to make the uh, the product public one is to actually hide it and make it searchable and the one that is not uh, I believe the third option is to to not show it on the on the store. Let me just double check. Um, except of these options on the on the finish uh, finish step, uh, display product of the website, and then you have everywhere search only Facebook URL search. Um, I believe this will hide it. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this will hide it. If you're creating an upsell, um, choose where to show your product everywhere you are a search. Um, I believe this this is the setup that you could use for that. I'm not 100% certain. I'm pretty confident that you already tested that one, uh, but please try to do this. Just, just turn it off and don't change anything here. Uh, I believe if you, if you, Turn this on. It's actually not going to display, but it's it's going to make it searchable. But if you actually don't display, but you you leave it on everywhere, it's going to just not show it everywhere. Um, that's my logic behind it. I'm not hundred percent certain, but please give it a go. If you tested this out, then uh, then please let me know here. Um, could you please help me with this? Is it possible to send emails? to Groove members based on their progress behavior either using GrooveMail or Active Campaign. Gaurav, I believe you asked this question over here and I actually answered it earlier, so hopefully you should be covered now. Um, any news on GrooveCart integration to Groove member? When it, will it be possible to fulfill membership to GrooveCart and uh, to a GrooveCart cell? Uh, not yet, but we are finalizing the writing of the webhook documentation that is uh, that is necessary for for us to connect GrooveCard to other apps and also to to actually allow third party platforms to connect their apps to GrooveCard. So that's that's going to be finalized soon, and after that we can do more custom things with GrooveCard and other apps uh, from Groove. Hi David, in a GrooveCard uh, from product page layouts, I've added a product viewer and quantity discount but after saving both it's not showing in my website online store let me just read one more time uh, in groove card from product page layouts i've added the products viewers and quantity discount but after after saving both is not showing in my web okay let's just double check so products viewers and quantity discount 
what Polo is saying that he created a, a product page layout and he added two of the elements. One is uh, how many viewers are, are looking at the product and the other one is, and this is in the scarcity. So let's just go into pages and product page. Let's just modify this one. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And in elements, scarcity, we have products viewers. How many people are viewing this product? Something maybe here. Okay. And he said quantity discount. And that's... Quantity discount. Okay. So let's just double check. I'm not quite sure what could be the issue. I'm just going to do a, a quick little test over here and, and see if that works with my store. Okay, people are viewing this product now. Um, let's edit the layout. That's the actual layout. Okay, so quantity discount, that's not showing up because we didn't have, we, we don't have, um, we don't have it set up in the product. So let, let me just show you very quickly. This could be something that you're missing. If you click over here to edit the actual product, you need to set up the uh, set up to add uh, to the quantity discount. You need to go to the product setup and add the quantity discounts. So pricing and variance, and you have quantity discounts. If you didn't add on any quantity discounts for this product, it's not going to show in the in the live version of the page. So what you what you need to do is if somebody buys uh, ten of these, then add ten percent discount. Okay, so that's one. If somebody buys twenty five of these, add uh, twenty five percent discount. And if somebody buys forty of these, I'm just like then give them. Um, 30% discount. Okay, so here we go. Quantity and the discounts. So once we save, I select a different default category. Um, yeah, here. Uh, best deals. Save. Cool. So hopefully now it should show up the quantity discounts. Yeah, here we go. So quantity discounts, we figure it out. One, you need to go in and set up the quantity discounts on the product level itself. The people are viewing the product is something that shows up, but you need to still manage it a little bit. So if you click on this uh, on this element, you go into settings and here you need to manage it a little bit. So uh, number box styling. So the text color is, is white. Let's just choose the background color yellow. And actually, let's put the text color black like that. Okay, you can put in like a fake number. Here we go. So we are saving that one. And this is now saved. So let's just test it out. Okay, here we go. So we changed the colors a little bit and we updated the settings of that element. And now you can see both the people are viewing element and it's already showing up here in this. But now we managed another one um, and we added on the quantity discounts within the product itself. And now both of them are showing. So um, it, it could just be that you need a little bit more setting up to do. So just go pricing variance quantity discounts and just set up there. Okay, let's just move back to the to this screen and let's see if we have any more questions on here. Um, hello, David Lemon. I'm wanting to transfer my website from Carter to Groove Pages, but URL importer does not recognize my pages after including the meta tag. Do you have a solution for this? Um, yeah, at this moment, the, the importer needs 
more work to be done on it um, i would just suggest you to do manual import the there is uh, there is at this moment no pro no progress on the importer and, and that's something that we're planning to do but in 2022 we have created the url importer and we we added on um, the elements for 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 page builders like ClickFunnels and Kartra and, and a couple others. But since we improved our builder, since those builders are improved as well, um, we would just need to do updates on the import. And we didn't do that because there were other priorities. So at this moment, uh, the importer is not working very well. And we know that and we, we understand that. But there are some other priorities that we, that we need to do. And we moved the actual updating of the importer to the next year because it we, we are going to come up with a completely new way of importing which is going to be much lighter and easier to do so for now i i just suggest you to go and manually transfer your your sites over to uh, to groove pages i know that it's not ideal and it it will take a bit more work but that's the that's the only way to do it right now unfortunately can you create a funnel in GrooveCart though? Yes, you can, uh, Pietro. You can do upsells, downsells, order bombs, the proper e-commerce way, and it, it looks pretty good as well. Paul was a question. Apart from PayPal as a payment, I want to allow customers using their credit cards to purchase items in my store. Apply enable GroovePay is the solution. Um, yes, so you can have two payment options. One is PayPal, one, the other one is, is uh, another credit card processor. Our suggestion and what we created is GroovePay, which makes it super simple uh, to apply and get an account if you are from one of the countries that GroovePay supports. And the other one is that it, it just the, it integrates beautifully and the ease of use. So GroovePay and PayPal works beautifully. We use it on our funnels as well, and we we are just super happy if you get in any kind of situation where you need some assistance our support can assist you with groove pay uh, you could also use stripe and the other ones just the normal payment options but groove pay is the is the recommended solution and it's cheaper and, and better um okay let's just see i just lost the comments now uh okay Hi David, regarding the page not saving, I found that creating a new page inside group pages and going uh, to that new page forces the group page to save the content on the original page. Okay, that's a great hack. Let's just test it out. Um, I believe I left groove pages, yeah. So let's just go back. We did a test site and all of the things that we were working on most probably didn't get saved, but what this user is suggesting is to let's just test it out so if we click the save on this page it's not going to save but it's, it's if if we create a new page let's just choose a, a template okay um, and we save it here Uh, okay, so this is kind of saving. Yeah, we, we added the back background saving. Um, so let's just see. Let's just leave the site. Let's come back to it. Um, I mean, I just wanted to explore this hack. Yeah, it works. Uh, I just wanted to explore this hack because uh, our devs are on it, so it's not going to stay for a long time, but it's good to know. So thanks for that. Um, oops, sorry about that. Let me just put this in here. Um, what is your suggestion for selling digital products? Is it GrooveCard versus Groove Pages with Funnel? It depends what the digital products are. So um, digital products could be sold the e-commerce way, which I call the e-commerce way. It's all e-commerce. But what we have, the solutions are, are a bit different. So if you go to creativemarket.com, these are mostly digital products. So you can purchase graphics and fonts and templates and add-ons and all kinds of things. But the distinction is that 
uh, let me just zoom out a bit. Uh, when you go and purchase, um, I don't know, let's just go into illustrations. If you go into creative market and you want to download or you want to buy digital products, they are all put in front of you and you can purchase them. So this is buying digital products the e-commerce way. Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen here, this is a digital product that you can click in, you can you can see it, and this is an e-commerce store. This is what Groovecart does. So in case you're looking to create a store like this, where you put all of your products up and then you let people kind of filter and search through and, and pick and choose and add to cart and, and check out all of them at the same time, then you can create a store like this. If you're actually looking to buy, uh, to sell one product and focus on that one product, think of it like a, a top shop or a QVC or a, a those tele, uh, these telesales channels, they are like, oh, here's a, I don't know, vacuum cleaner. So you can do this and you can do that. Da, 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 da. Basically, they're selling one product. That's kind of the funnel selling way. So what you could do is two versions, put all of your products at the uh, up on your store and sell them that way. Or you could sell a more funnel type of way where you're actually drilling into the features and benefits of one product itself and you're focusing on that. So these are the two types of sales. You can do both. It just depends what you prefer to do. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, but based on your answer, can you build a fully functioning sales funnel in Groovecart and add email software? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hello, David Lemon. I'm wanting to transfer my website from Kartner. Okay. Uh, add that was already asked. Uh, thank you for your response. How are, can you build a fully functioning? Okay. Uh, and add email software such as MailChimp. Yes. Does Grooveblog allow for sharing limited access to VA? Not yet. We're working on that one. So the next, um, the next couple of months, Grooveblog will not be seeing, uh, updates because that's what we are working on. And the Grooveblog team is actually working on, on this VA user roles and permissions, um, kind of functionality for the whole system. So uh, currently only Groovecart is the platform that has um, sub user or uh, additional member access for a store. We will do that for Grooveblock. So you'll be able to have uh, your VA go and, and create posts and things like that for Grooveblock. You'll be able to, uh, to create uh, access for your VAs for the different apps like Groove Webinar or, or Groove Cell or Groove Pages and things like that. You're going to control who sees what um, as the as the main account owner, um, you, you're going to be in charge and you're going to give permissions and, and the roles uh, to whoever you want. That's being worked on and the Groove blog team is developing that solution. And hopefully by the end of the year, we're going to see that. Uh, so that's the answer to Hurricane Gilbert. The next one is Gilmar. Example, let's say there is an empty space before the footer. It would be nice if we could make the page smaller, shrink the block. I don't know what kind of question is this. What What is your question on here? Um, regenerating the images didn't work. I'll put in a ticket. Okay, David, no problem. Um, I, I'm not quite sure what what would be the solution for that. He does have a group on us and he doesn't see it in distributions. Okay, so there's, this is for the, for the partner contracts. Uh, he doesn't see it there. Please reach out to the support team then. I'm not quite sure. They could look into if the actual partner contract was, was properly connected. Uh, uh, Dina, when creating in GrooveSell, you have the option to ask for name and email address and uh, and adding the email provider integration. I use MailChimp. But when a sale is going through, the email and name is not being added to a chosen list in MailChimp. Um, we'll need to explore this one. Why not? There is added and it's going to happen in the future. Uh, Dina, please reach out to our support team. They could look into it. I don't know why it is not doing it. So it could be, it could be a, a bug. It could be just a wrong setup. Something went wrong. Just please reach out to our support so they can look into it for you. Doris, I have purchased the domain name from Namecheap and also linked to Cloudflare, but in the settings, I only saw AAA in the DNS records, no MX. 
should I continue and complete the settings? Um, I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but if you, if you linked it to Cloudflare, Cloudflare has AA records, MX records, C names records, all of the types of records that you need. So um, I don't know what you're trying to do, what you're trying to connect. So if you could give me more details or you could just reach out to support and ask them there for assistance. I, I don't really know what you're trying to achieve. I'm looking to partner with someone who have Groove Funnels and Groove Copy Pro. I'm willing to help anyone set up their funnels in exchange for a small amount so I can buy the books I need. Uh, Reggie, that's great. Just reach out to the community in the, in, in the in the Groove Facebook group and they could assist you with that. Can't launch somebody's product only if this person has a Groove account. Uh, this is, I'm pretty confident that is, this is related to the partner contracts. Um, if you would like to partner with somebody, Gilmar, you need to, they need to have a Groove account. Otherwise, there's no way that you could share the profits and, and to enable that tracking without the actual uh, Groove account on both ends. It doesn't have to be a paid account. It can be a free account as well, but it needs to be a Groove account. Uh, okay, DJ is saying, David, thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, my question is on Groove member how uh, how can I make it that the way that if my student doesn't finish one course, they shouldn't uh, move to the next course? Um, you could do quizzes through a form and, and manually approve the, the access, but there is no automated way at this moment. Is it possible to set up my course in a way that my student will be able to access my first course on XX date and the second course on a Y date and like that? Um, we have drip content, so you could potentially drip out the content in case you want to, to do this XX state. But what you could do is you could create a sequence. You could create an email sequence where you only send out the actual login details to the next membership on a certain date. Or after somebody joins, you, uh, you estimate that there will be 30 days will be needed to go through one of the courses. Then after 30 days have been have gone, the the sequence from GrooveMail or from, from somewhere else will send out the actual uh, uh, login link and the and the rest for the for the next membership where you already enroll them. And that's going to be an option. But unfortunately, no other way. We don't have a we don't have that uh, built in. With a new Groove member, you will be able to do that. Uh, okay, Dina is asking when is Groove Mail going to be live? As of now, in test mode, it seems. Uh, yeah, it is in test mode, but you can still you can already use it. It is in test mode because we are still um, adding on uh, SMTP. But be, these basically sending servers. We're also improving the the builder. We are adding in a, a Groove Mail rich email builder, and we are tweaking settings and and adding stuff and improving stuff. So it's in, it is in test mode because we we want to kind of have the feedback from users, uh, but it already sends out email, so it's live. So you can, if you're a paid member, you can already use it. Will any domain work for redirect to your affiliate link? Um, if you own the domain, yes. So you can create an affiliate link redirect with any of the domains that you control. You will need to be able to manage the, the, the redirect. That's what's going to uh, that's what's going to allow you to, to manage it. David, having my product set up uh, set on GrooveCart, I built a sale funnel in Groove Pages to promote that product. My question is how to add a buy button embed code in my funnel. Um, well, you go into GrooveCart and get an embed code. Um, not quite sure what the what the question is exactly about, but let's just see. Okay, so here I am in a product. And I want to, I want to get a buy button embed for this particular product. If I go to the finish buy button embed code, and you can generate the code here for the actual buy button. Okay, so you can you can change the, you can put in the text, you can put in the text color. 
Okay, that's super ugly, so let's just make it black. Uh, button background color, border radius, I'll just put 50, something like that. Um, 30. Oh, okay, so it's going until 10, I believe. I should do five. Yeah, there we go. So it's nice. Uh, maybe even white. So you could also show product name. You could show prices. And that's going to be your buy button. You could also show an image. You could show things like that. But because it has more variants, it's going to show a drop down menu. So you can click generate code and you actually get this, this code. You can embed it on your site somewhere in Groove Pages. Um, embed code. Let's put it here. And once you add it, there you have it. Okay, let's just see if it's previewing. Okay, it doesn't show up for some reason. We'll need to find out what the reason is for it to not show. Uh, let's see if I copied it fully. Generate code. Not sure why it's not showing up. This could be the, the issue that you're facing as well. I'll need to reach out to the to the guys here in Groove Pages, I believe this is a Groove Pages embed code issue, something with uh, with code over here, just not reading it properly. So we'll need to look into this one. But uh, if you could reach out to support, so they could look into it as well. I'm going to do my own part, but please do your own as well. Provide them the information and what you're trying to achieve, and then we could get this sorted faster. Hey, David, I joined a bit late, but uh, are there any cool new features update going to Groove Blog? You can tease. Yes, actually, I recorded a video to <laughs> share with you here. Um, it's uh, uh, on my Loom. I actually shared it out with, with, our, with our support team earlier. I have a Groove Blog video and Groove, uh, Groove Video video um, going to be coming on live today so stay tuned for that um nothing fancy nothing major but it's going to be interesting for sure uh abdul hi david it seems like groove card has been left behind in terms of the builder is it currently possible to use groove mail forms with groove card yes you can just embed it if not then how can i use groove pages with groove card abdul um we have we have um, had some uh, some of our team members uh, got in issues due to COVID, and the and the builder side of things were not uh, on, on GrooveCart were not developed uh, as much as the other other stuff. Main of main things were worked on was the webhooks, and that's going live very soon. The API and the webhooks, and back and stuff like we did um, we did a lot of management of products and re, uh, re, uh, these regeneration of images and things like that that is not the builder part of things now we have the devs back from uh, from their how would i say from their break well they were they were off due to due to illness uh now they are actually working the things that they're working on right now is uh, the metadata and the open graph for the builder. So you're going to be able to manage the, the open graph and metadata of each and every page for for your Groove cart store. At this moment, it's not available, but that's being worked on right now. Um, then I saying it would be a good idea to add the availability of adding new users into Groove Funnels account. Add the availability of adding new users. Um, Dina, that's going to come. That's what I mentioned earlier when I was answering um, answering a question from Hurricane Gilbert. We're going to be adding on this uh, access to to add more users under your own account. That's coming. 
Carol, hi David, I'm still struggling to set up a simple double opt-in page. I have four pages, main landing with a form, uh, thank you, confirmation, another sales page. I need to understand what is supposed to fill in these two options, confirmation page and success page. Support told me that this is a success page. I need to put the thank you page, but that makes no sense to me. Um, I believe I, I answered that last time. When you have a double opt-in, when you're sending out a link, let me just try and show this to you like that. Uh, okay, I'm going to share my screen in a moment. Just one second. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, so what you what you have here is, damn, I forgot to bring back the actual. Where is the? Uh, let's see if I can actually share my screen this way. Okay, so hopefully you can still see that. Um, you send out an email. But this email needs to get confirmed, okay? This is the double opt-in. I'm going to call this a double opt-in. So this double opt-in sends out an email where it is asking if the people would like to receive the emails from you. So. You want to send this email, okay? So, or actually, somebody subscribed to your email list. The user came and subscribed to your email list. Now they get an email. Do they want to actually confirm this um, this subscription? And if they confirm, if they say yes, okay, then they get. Um, they get over to a success page, which is, um, let's just do this one, confetti out, which is basically a success page or success URL. This is the success URL. In order to actually send them forward to, to another page, this is the actual thank you page. Okay, so this is the success success page. It doesn't have to be a page. It could be really mean anything really. Um, actually, I made a mistake. This is not, this over here is not an email. This is a form. So what you're talking about is a form. So somebody signs up to your email list, let's just put in a form. So somebody comes over here and and it fills out the form and they put in the submit submit button. They fill out the form and they need to, to double opt-in. They need to they need to receive this this confirmation. So you send them an email, are you sure you would like to double opt-in? Or in case you would like to, to actually receive emails from me, please click on the button below. If they click yes, they get sent over to this success. Uh, success page where you mention uh, thank you for signing up you have been successfully put onto the email list of Carol Palmera okay so that is the success page but after they have been they have been taken away from that success page the main page is going to redirect over to a thank you page which is which can be um, anything where you're selling, anything where you're communicating the further steps of your campaign. The actual success page over here, this is just a notification. Okay, so this is just kind of a great, you're in. That's the success. 
page okay so hopefully that helps it's a, a little notification so that people know that it has successfully worked um, a thank you page is something that is that is a part of your campaign this is a more important it could be a call to action page it could be a, a, a page with a video on it and things like that but success page is just so that you tell them great you're in that's it no further communication needed so um, that's what I wanted to mention hopefully that helps um, Ragu is saying, uh, when we can change other languages in group member, like uh, area like Spanish and other right now, we only have English and Portuguese. Um, group member is not going to be adding in languages for the time being. We're still working on the actual group member 2.0. So for languages, I don't see them happening this year. Um, more languages will be coming, but not at the moment. We are still focusing on the, on the English version of the of the platform. So languages will be coming later. I cannot give my Groove member login site to prospect the login. I have to add them manually. What am I doing wrong? Please show me with your screen. Martin, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, I can give my Groove member login site to prospect the login. Um, what are you trying to do? Is this a Groove member course? Is this a Groove member membership? Or is this a, is this your account, kind of a, a Groove account where, where you want them to come? I don't fully understand what you're trying to achieve. When the custom email in Groove member and Groove cell will come, that is something that we will be working on. But at this moment, it's probably going to come towards the end of the year. For the moment, we, we didn't work on it yet. Hi, David. Uh, how can we request our commission earned by lifetime referral purchase sent to our PayPal account? It should be automatic. It just needs some time to pass. If you if you have some question, reach out to our support team. Um, they could happily help you there. A group member, two questions. One, do you recommend using a landing page to capture emails and then place the group membership opt-in page on the thank you page? Um, no. Um, two, I have to add manually. Uh, I have to manually add prospects to my Groove membership site. They cannot create their own accounts by entering their email address and create their own passwords. What am I doing wrong when creating the Groove membership site? Please share your screen to explain. Okay, so what you're missing is um, you can use automations, and let me show you how I would do it. So what I would do is utilize Groove Cell, and I will explain you why. So I'm here in Groove Cell, and I'm going to go into, into a product funnel. So if you don't have anything yet, you will create a product funnel. If you already have something, then you will uh, you'll just edit that. Um, what you're trying to do is create a product that is going to be either free, if you're trying to have a free uh, membership, or a paid product so that people purchase and then they get added uh, into the membership. But the reason we are using GrooveSell is because they have the automatic fulfillment. So you go through this wizard from step number one to step number 11. You set up the product name, which is going to be the, the actual sign up for a membership description you're going to put up the pricing if it applies if it is a if it is a, a paid membership then you put in the the price over here if it is a free membership then you put zero okay so it can be also be zero um if you have multiple price points like one is a basic level the other one is an advanced level and the third one is a is a professional uh, then you can create more price points over here Okay, and then you can put in the gateways in case it is a paid product. You put in the gateways. You, you go through anyway, and you and you set things up. But when you come to the step number eight, this is the actual fulfillment, and you can see immediately it says memberships. So this is where you come and you say, okay, if somebody purchased this this uh, price point, the peanut butter price point in my case, okay. Um, this is going to go over to a membership that I set up, which is going to be called Healthy Eating Trends. 
on this axis level add okay this price point is a strawberry price point i'm going to add this to the healthy eating trends but on a different level okay and then here you can actually manage the the level who gets what so once you're done make sure you click save and then uh, and then you follow through uh, all of the steps and what you then need to do is to get an opt-in form. The opt-in form is going to look like this. Okay, supplement funnel. So the opt-in form is going to look something like this. If you're using a checkout page, Okay, so you remember we set up a $0 product. You can manage what information you're asking, like first name, last name, username, password. Um, if, it is zero, it, if it is a $0 product, it's not going to ask for the payment details. So you can see there is no billing step over here. Um, so after they fill out this form, they will get automatically added to the membership. You could also do things like embedding it to, uh, to a page. So you can copy this and then embed it on the page in group pages, for example. You can see this immediately shows up here. So the form is going to look like this if you embed it, but that means that you make it a part of the, of the page like this. So you can you can further modify it like the 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 width and the, and how wide it is, how tall it is, and things like that. You can manage here in the page builder, but you could also make it a part of your page. So this is what what this type of form allows you to do. And the funky thing is to that it's going to uh, allow you to automate things. So if somebody fills out this form, it's going to add people into the membership automatically. So that's what I would suggest. To, to do uh, that's what I would do and that's what we actually are doing in Groove um, since the new form submission is no longer available in Zapier how can we connect a contact form to Groove pages to receive notification um, that's being fixed it's just a, it's just a, uh, it's actually on the Zapier side we contacted them and they're fixing the issue so just wait a little bit that's my suggestion um, any chance that GrooveCart will eventually be able to integrate with Printful? Uh, Hurricane Gilbert, Printful is already a part of GrooveCart. We do have Printful already. So in case you go into GrooveCart, um, let's just use this here. If you go into GrooveCart, if you go into the products and print on demand and drop shipping, so over here, products in the sidebar, and then POD and drop shipping. These are going to show you the the actual um, the actual apps that we connect with, and Printful is over here, so just behind my big head. Uh, Printful is already connected. You can click learn more, turn it on, and if you turn it on, you're going to see this little cogwheel. This is going to allow you to actually go in and manage the products you can import products and things like that they are going to just need to put in your api key from printful and then you can search your products that are in printful and you can view any orders from here and you can fulfill them and, and do all sorts of stuff with with printful and groove card so that's already available um okie dokie where do I find the membership opt-in page with or without pricing? Um, there is no membership opt-in page. There is a membership login page. For, for the login, they need, to, they need to be already registered as members. And what I showed earlier with GrooveSell um, over to, to Groove member, that's one of the ways. What you could also do is you could create a Groove mail form. What I showed you earlier is was a, a groove sell form that you can have with pricing if it is a free product you could do this or you could have a groove mail form so here you go to groove mail you go to forms and you can create a new form which is going to be called um, membership opt-in 
okay so that's another way to add people to a membership through a form so here you can see the actual form if you don't want any kind of text on the top you can just click the i buttons over here and you could uh, you could add more form fields like a last name form field for example you could add um some other other types of things like website url niche eye color or things like that um so these are custom fields that i created if you would like to ask your own things you can just choose would it be a drop down menu radio buttons check boxes text area things like that i'm just going to leave it out email first name last name that's all i'm going to ask for and then i'm going to type in join instead of send so i have my form now i can create next uh, subscriber list you put them on a subscriber you can put in you can create a new list or you can um, just select one that is done you can assign tags put them into a sequence you can do this single opt-in or double opt-in you can have the success url and basically go through the setup of the of the email i'm just going to do a demo uh, option over here save and exit and now whenever you have the membership opt-in you can get the code and you can embed it onto your page somewhere so this is going to look a bit different than what we previously embedded where is my group pages i actually exited so let me just go back um group card group mail group. i believe this is the one yeah so you got a, a groove mail form you can embed it on your page and i'm going to go to the page two and then choose this and embed it here so this is how the actual form will look like okay but now this is not yet connected so this we can manage the, the width and everything we could um we could create this type of form but at this moment this form is not yet connected with groove member so what you need to do is after you created a form you need to go to automations and this is a very important step you need to do automations where you say create new automation and say um membership fulfillment something this is just a name for yourself to know Okay, so the trigger is going to be if something happens, like if somebody fills out a form, and I'm going to choose membership opt-in, that's the form that we created, click this plus button, then, what you can see here, then add a membership, you select the membership, healthy eating trends, for example, and then you choose an access level, and then you click this plus button, so if somebody fills out the form, then add them to a membership. You click save, but it's not enough for our happiness. If we scroll down, we can see that membership fulfillment is here. It has a red dot. That means that it's not active yet. So let's just click resume. And now we have the green dot, which means that the membership, the membership fulfillment automation is active. So what we have now is we have a form when somebody fills out the form, they will get automatically added to a membership that we created, and we have embedded this uh, form on our page. In Groove Pages, you also have an element that you could use if you want to design the form a little bit better. For example, if you want to create a form that looks exactly like this one over here. So what you could do is, is instead of embedding things on the page, like what I showed you earlier, you could go into elements, you scroll down, and you find the groove mail form element. Let's just put this here. And there you click on the groove mail form. In the upper right hand side here, you click configure and you just select the membership opt in. It's still going to have the same functionalities. You'll be able to choose a redirect where you want to send people after they, they filled out the form uh and okay let's just select it and click update so 
this is going to show us the form and now you can actually go in and then modify the form exactly as you want if you want a placeholder you can just put in here uh, like enter your best email for example your best email and you can make it bigger smaller you can design the text bigger you can you can do all sorts of different styling uh, exactly as this one over here so you could manage the background of the form to something dark blue for example you can make the the form fields a little bit more wider and and things like that so you basically you can recreate the design uh, you can also do uh, this type of join okay. uh, and then you can choose a different color something like this and basically you, you get the point so you can design the form how to look like inside the page builder, but the functionality will stay the same. We created a form in GrooveMail, we created an automation that if anyone fills out the form, they will actually be added to a membership. So that's also an option. Um, hopefully that helps. Let's just see next question. As a store in GrooveCart, uh, sorry, a store in GrooveCart is not possible to share as we can do with a page or site. I mean, if I want someone to set up a GrooveCart store, I need to provide a person my Groove credentials. Am I correct? Um, you can you can share the design of a store and the pages, but you cannot share the full-on store with somebody. Um, the reason is because it's a database, it's a backend platform. So um, whenever you whenever you create a product in GrooveCart, it creates a product in the database. It's not a front end um, front end builder like Groove Pages. Groove Pages is HTML and CSS. That means that it's just code that you can copy over and share with somebody else. But GrooveCart is an is a dynamic builder which has um, a, a front which is a page builder and then it has a backend which is the products and the settings and the sh shipping and the fulfillment and the things like that so you cannot share a store through a link with somebody you could however allow va access uh, if you if you want somebody to manage your store for example you don't need to give them your own uh, groove access you can just create another um another user so you go into settings in GrooveCart I'm just going to this side and then you can go to staff accounts you can create a staff account if you have a VA if you would like somebody to manage the store for you and you can add employees over here or staff so you can also give them a different permissions you can give them store admin so that they will have access to everything you can give them uh, va product only so they can only manage the products they can only manage customer support or they can manage the orders as well so it's basically whatever you want to do um what you could also do is create stores for others and then create admin access like for your client let's just say you have a client you created a store on your account and then you give them store admin access and you sell them the store so they will be able to log in and manage GrooveCart through their own login details because they are a store admin um, that's option I just go on hi I have watched the video you created relating to building one product GrooveCart store could you create a video detailing the creation of sales funnel opt-in etc all within GrooveCart um, I don't plan to do any more courses right now. My, my job has changed. I'm more in development at this moment. Uh, but if you watched one of these videos and you know the functionalities of GrooveCart, you should be able to connect it. Um, more video, more training on full-on courses won't help you. Just try to map up what you're trying to do and figure out the different steps. You don't need my two three hour video on show you how to do everything because you may be missing just one little step in case you're you're missing one little step you know what to ask so just go into the community and ask guys how do i go and create an opt-in form 
connect to something else. I don't know what you're trying to exactly do, but um, but you don't need the whole course. You may be missing a little information. So try to ask for that information inside the Facebook group. Try to ask it here if you're missing something. I don't plan to do, we have more than enough content out there on Groovecart on how to build full-on stores and full-on funnels and or flows and, and import products. We will do, of course, more, but that's not going to be probably me right now because my, my job description has changed. I'm more in the development right now. Uh, some of my pages and group pages have a red dot on it. What does the red dot mean? That means that the that the pages have some changes that have not yet been published. Sometimes you will see pages. Um, let me just show you here. If I didn't exit yet. OK, yeah, so here we go. Um, what you're seeing here is my Groove Pages account. And there is home has a red dot. Page two has a red dot. That means that there are changes on the pages that haven't been published yet. If you just hover over the dot, it's going to say, um, OK, it doesn't actually show for some reason, but it should say that the page has unpublished changes. I'm going to actually need to look into this one. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to screenshot it. So. That's going to allow me to share it with the dev team. Um, OK. Cool. Um, is the ability to add user limited only to Groovecart? At this moment, adding extra users, adding extra staff accounts uh, is only available in Groovecart. Oh, thank you, David. That's a good option, user admin in Groovecart. Yep. Only Groovecart has it for now, but we will have that in other, uh, other, other, um, in the Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Blog, Groove Member, and and all the other Groove platforms. Peter is saying, "Okay, thank you, perfect." That is the last question I have in my, in my list over here. Let me just see if I mentioned if I skipped something over here. Um, okay, cool. So far that I'm seeing, I went through all of those. Um, yeah, I believe that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I managed to give you um, answers for your problems, issues, questions. Hopefully that helped you. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. We are going to be doing another Q&A on Friday. If you are in need of some technical help, please reach out to our support team. They will be able to assist you with that. And uh, let's just see one more question came in. When will Amazon SES be, uh, be set up as mail sender? That's being worked on right now. When will the new builder be available in Groove Member? That's, that's being mentioned on the Groove Lemonade number 41 please visit that video I, on the beginning of the video i mentioned that mentioned all of the all of the information about groove member so uh, amazon ses is being worked on uh, within the next week or two we're going to add it on uh, actually for groove mail there is also something that i will be recording uh, we added on the webhook ability so whenever you go into the senders and let's just go in here if you added on a sand grid uh, sender, for example, you can see now we added on webhook URL where you can allow the tracking of opens, clicks, bounces, and spam events. So because you're not sending out the email from, from Groove Mail through a Groove Mail server, you need to actually have the feedback. So if sand grid recorded an open, we need to receive that in Groove Mail so we can show it in our dashboard as well. So once you connect an API key, you will also need to connect the webhook URL. And I'm going to create videos on how to actually do that. So um, it's pretty simple. It's a copy paste, clicking three dots, open, click, balance, and spam. Actually, four dots, uh, four checkboxes, 
clicking save and you're good to go. Uh, so it's really, really simple. It's just that it, it will it will be needed to, to allow tracking. For example, when you send out a campaign, we need to track the opens, the clicks, the if somebody marked this, uh, marked the email as spam, that's why that webhook URL is needed. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see the statistics if you're sending out through a third-party sender. Um, that went live recently, and there will be a video about that. Um, so why am I mention mentioning this? Because this technology was needed to, to be developed first for SparkPost and SendGrid. And now that we have it, we can e immediately add it for Mailgun and Amazon SES. And that's what we were waiting for, to actually fully develop SendGrid and fully develop SparkPost. And now when we go over to the next platforms, we can just easily add Add it on, and we have a kind of complete, uh, complete integration with Amazon immediately. So it's not going to, uh, to, to kind of need development of this tracking technology. Okay, that's basically it. So let's just see if I missed something. Do we have integration for sender and and send in blue? Um, no, we don't have integrations for those yet. You could use them with Zapier. For now, we don't have them directly integrated to Groove. What email autoresponder do you recommend best for integration? Just use Groove Mail. If you're a paid account, if you're a paid user, use Groove Mail. You should be able to set up a set up a SendGrid connection with Groove Mail, and you can send your emails away with that. Cool. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'm going to wrap it up for today. As I mentioned uh, previously, we have um, Tuesdays and Fridays a little Groove Lemonade where I come on live, answer your questions. If you have any extra question that you need uh, help with, please reach out to our support team or support.groovedigital.com. You can open a ticket or even live chat with our agents. And if you need any kind of suggestions or kind of guidance or maybe somebody to do the development or help for you, um, reach out to our community. We have super engaged community members in, inside our Facebook group. So just reach out. They'll be more than happy to help. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. Hopefully see you on Friday as well. And until then, keep rocking. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.